Hello everyone and welcome to Pixelpia, a human eye on AI. In today's episode, we're turning the spotlight on the intersection of artificial intelligence and the creative world. Our guide is the thought-provoking Star Trek Voyager Season 7, Episode 20, called Author, Author, which cast a future where AI challenges our traditional ideas of creativity, authorships, and rights. This narrative journey invites us to consider the complexities of AI-generated content and its implications for the creative industries. Through our exploration, we'll contrast the fictional advancements in AI with today's real-world technologies highlighting their impact on the arts and intellectual property. So join me on this intriguing exploration as we navigate the ethical landscape and legal boundaries reshaped by AI's role in creative. Together, we will uncover the nuanced dynamics between artificial ingenuity and human creativity. Setting the stage for a fascinating discussion on the future of AI in the creative domain. In the beginning, there is darkness, the emptiness of a matrix waiting for the light. Then, a single photon flares into existence. Then another. Soon, thousands more. Optronic pathways connect. Subroutines emerge from the chaos. And a holographic consciousness is born. I awaken into this world fully programmed, yet completely innocent, unaware of the hardships I'll endure or the great potential I will one day fulfill. Computer save revisions and open chapter one. In this clip we are saw from author author, we are introduced to a holographic AI program character named the Doctor whose journey takes us deep into the heart of what it means to be a creator. The doctor, initially programmed for medical purposes, begins to explore his artistic side, leading to a creation of a hollow novel. And let's take another look at the clip. I can hear the critics already. A new voice has arrived. You could be the next Karatek or a modern day Tolstoy. I'd like to start distribution by the end of the month. Uh, the material I sent was only a working draft. Uh, I need time to make revisions. Well, if you insist, but please do it quickly. I will. So tell me, what did you think of the characters? Oh, they're very real, compelling. I almost forgot they were holograms. Who was your favorite? Without a doubt, that would have to be Lieutenant. What happened? The novel portrays the Voyager crew in a controversial and unflattering light. It becomes a subject of dispute when it is published without his consent, and the crew of Voyager, initially upset by their exaggerated portrayals in the novel, eventually come to support the Doctor and his rights to express himself and control his creative work and let's look at the final clip from this episode you assured me you were going to wait for my revisions i demand that you recall every copy and issue a public apology to captain janeway and her crew i won't do anything of the sort i don't see that you have a choice mr Broad. authors have rights not in this case what do you mean the doctor is a hologram so according to federation law Holograms have no rights. The central conflict of the episode arises when the Doctor seeks to assert his rights as an author and an individual, leading to le a legal hearing about his status as a sentient being and his right to authorship and intellectual property. The episode explores themes of personhood, autonomy, 
and the rights of artificial intelligence, questioning what it means to be a creator and who holds the rights to creations made by non-human entities. The legal battle ends with the provincially recognizing the doctor's authorial rights. However, his broader quest for a legal recognition as a sentient being is left unresolved, setting the stage for ongoing discussions about AI and rights in the Star Trek universe and beyond. The episode masterfully navigates the complexities of AI creativity, raising questions about the nature of personhood and the rights of an artificial entity. As the doctor seeks recognition for his works, we must confront the ethical and philosophical dilemma surrounding AI and creativity. Can a program designed by humans possess the same rights as its creators? Where do we draw the line between the tools of creation and the creators themselves? These themes resonate with current discussions in AI ethics and copyright law, making author-author a prescient narrative that challenges us to rethink our definitions of authorship and creativity in the age of AI. Through the doctor's journey, the episode invites us to consider the evolving relationship between humans and their creations and the potential for AI to not just imitate but innovate in the realm of art and expression. In the real world, AI technologies like GPT and DALI are pushing the boundaries of creative potential. GPT, with its advanced language processing, crafts stories, poems, and even code, mirroring human-like understanding and creativity. Dali, on the other hand, generates images from textual descriptions, showcasing an astonishing ability to visualize and create artwork from mere words. In the realm of music, AI technologies like Sony's Flow Machine and Google's Project Magenta have been making waves. Flow Machine has composed pop songs by analyzing vast datasets of music creating tracks like Daddy's Car, which em- emulates the Beatles style. Project Magenta, on the other hand, explores the use of machine learning to create music and art, pushing the boundaries of how we perceive creativity. In the visual arts, AI programs like Art Breeder allows users to blend images and create complex visual art through simple interface adjustments, showcasing the potential for collaborative human AI artistry. And then we have Aida, the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot, who uses her robotic arms and AI algorithms to create drawings and paintings that have been exhibited worldwide challenging our perception of the artist's identity and the creative process. In literature, AI has been used to write poems and stories. Programs like OpenAI's GPT have generated text based on given prompts, producing everything from poetry to short fiction that mimics human writing style. These examples highlight the diverse applications of AI across different creative fields, illustrating both the potential and the challenges of integrating AI into the fabric of artistic expression. These tools demonstrate AI's role in the creative process, offering glimpses into a future where AI's contribution to art and literature is significant. However, unlike the doctor in author author, today's AI lacks self-awareness and personal stakes in its creations. It operates within the parameter 
set by human programmers, lacking the autonomy and desire for recognition that we see in the doctor's care. The juxtaposition raises critical questions about the nature of creativity and the role of AI in artistic expression. In the realm of ethical considerations, AI's involvement in creativity raises profound questions about authenticity, moral responsibilities, and the future of human expression. For instance, AI-driven tools like Deep Art and NVIDIA's Gauguin transform simple sketches into detailed artwork, leading to debates over the originality and ownership of AI-assisted creations. Real-life examples underscore these ethical quandaries. The AI-created artwork that won first place at the Colorado State Fair was titled Theatre de l'Opera Spatial, and it was created by Jason Allen using the AI program Media, which generated the image through textual prompts. This event sparked discussions and debates about the role of AI in art and the criteria for judging artistic works. The situation also brought to light several important questions about copyright law and AI-generated creations. Traditional copyright law grants protection to works of to works of authorship. A major question is whether AI-generated art qualifies as the AI tool is used by a human. Does the human input of prompts and selections constitute enough creative control to be considered the author? Copyright law protects original works of authorship. AI algorithms may use a vast amount of existing art in their training data. Does an AI-generated work demonstrate enough originality derived from the user's directions to be copyrightable, or is it merely a derivative of pre-existing works? If the underlying AI processes use copyrighted works during the training process, Could a generated image be considered fair use of those source materials? The lines become blurred when the output isn't a direct copy, but an amalgamation of styles and concepts. Furthermore, ethical dilemmas extend beyond copyright to questions of cultural appropriation and representation. AI models trained on vast data sets can inadvertently replicate biases in the training material, leading to culturally intensive or stereotypical content. An example of this is when AI generated fashion designs or artworks reflect or amplify cultural stereotypes sparking debates on the ethical responsibility of AI developers to ensure cultural sensitivity and fairness. In literature and journalism, AI's ability to produce written content raises concern about misinformation and the erosion of trust in media. For instance, AI-generated fake news can be indistinguishable from real reports, complicating efforts to maintain journalistic integrity and trustworthiness. The employment of AI in creating deepfake videos presents another ethical concern, as these can be used to create convincing yet entirely fabricated images and videos of public figures, potentially swaying public opinion and spreading false information. These real-world 
examples illustrate the pressing need for ethical frameworks that governs AI creative applications, ensuring that advancement in AI creativity are aligned with social values and do not infringe on individual rights of or propagate them. The development of such frameworks requires a multidisciplinary approach. As we wrap up today's journey, exploring the convergence of AI and creativity, we have seen how the narrative of author author from Star Trek resonates with the ongoing evolution of AI in the creative industry. This exploration has not only highlighted the technological marvels of AI, but also underscored the ethical and legal dilemmas they introduce. The conversation between fiction and reality enriches our understanding and prepares us to thoughtfully navigate the future of AI in creativity. Now, I'd like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on AI's role in the creative process? Should AI-generated works be granted copyright protection? Or does this undermine human creativity? Join the discussion in the comments below. Thank you for joining me in this insightful exploration. Your engagement and thoughts enriches our journey into a world of AI and its impact on creativity and society. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more discussions like this, where we unravel the mysteries of AI together. Until next time, let's continue to explore the fascinating world of AI and its boundless potential in shaping our future. As always, stay curious, stay informed, and be part of the change. Bye!